We were keen to get involved with the Climate Crisis Challenge for a couple of reasons. Uh, first of all, Octopus uh, is a certified B Corp. And what that means is uh, we look at not only the interests of our shareholders, but also those of four other stakeholders, being our customers, our employees, uh, the community and the environment or the planet. Um, I think also uh, tackling the climate crisis is what Octopus Energy, our sister company, is focused on and its role as a global renewable energy business. So we look at reducing in-use energy uh, across two dimensions. The first is Octopus the business. We have committed to be net zero by 2030 um, and so that's looking across the office and home working across every aspect. How we're using electricity, of course, 100% renewable from Octopus Energy, um, but also things like printing, recycling, even down to travel budgets, carbon budgets, etc. amongst teams. The second dimension for us is all the different funds we manage. So as a group, we manage over 12 and a half billion pounds. We've got dozens of retail and institutional funds. So all our funds have sustainable investment policies and we're really drilling down into each fund, looking at minimizing carbon footprint and energy usage across those funds. In terms of showcasing initiatives, what I'd like to see focused on, and I would say this because it's close to my heart, are finance related initiatives. So for instance, uh, a couple of months ago, we launched a partnership with Homes England called the Greener Homes Alliance, where we are trying to deliver a lot more EPC A, high standard buildings uh, across the UK. That for us is about providing an incentive through an interest rate saving up to 2% to deliver EPC A, but it's also education and working at grassroots to educate house builders on how they can achieve this, whether it's air source heat pumps, ground source heat pumps, roof mounts, solar, etc. The second thing I think we should be showcasing is very much how the real estate sector as responsible landlords are acting towards the buildings they own and the operators in those buildings. So for instance, we have over a billion pounds of modern purpose-built care homes. We've committed that that's gonna be net zero for all new care homes by 2030. The remaining portfolio, net zero by 2040. So how we work closely with developers, with contractors, uh, with operators and showcasing that I think is going to be really important across the whole sector. So if there's one thing I'd like to see by COP27, it's very much switching around the way the real estate sector is seen in terms of how it's approaching the climate crisis. So we know that 40% of carbon in the UK uh, is at the feet of the built environment, the real estate sector, but we've been really slow at addressing the challenges in the sector. So I'd like us to be, by 2027, to be working much more closely together and to be at the front of the pack and to be proud that we were being pioneering and really pushing on all aspects of real estate and how we can approach this climate crisis.